This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. If you are one of the billions of people on earth who have not yet subscribed <laughs> to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I am on a mission to get to 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and it's only with your help that I'm going to be able to do to do that. So if you're one of the billions, eh, help me out. Listen, I, I have a lot of criticism for journalism, for journalists specifically, uh, a lot. I often think that in the the media landscape of the United States, there's too much adherence to tradition. There's there's too much reverence for both sides in things. In fact, it's interesting because the clip I'm getting ready to play, the guy talks about both sides. But when they do something right and when an individual does their job well, I'm going to be there to say, hey, good job. And Abby Phillip on CNN did a great job yesterday with John Pierce. He's a lawyer for one of the January 6th insurrectionists named Kenneth Thomas. Someone who, by the way, I'll just read some of the charges that he's facing right now. Uh, he's facing several charges, including civil disorder, two counts of obstruction of an official proceeding, and aiding and abetting, assaulting, resisting, or impeding certain officers, entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly and disruptive con conduct in a restricted building or grounds, engaging in physical violence in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a Capitol building, and acts of physical violence in the Capitol grounds or buildings. So this is not a good guy. If the things that are alleged against him, which if the track record of the, uh, the prosecutions against these people who entered into a conspiracy one with another to overthrow the United States government uh, by way of overturning a free and fair election, if the prosecutorial uh, pace and success rate is any is any indication, Kenneth Thomas will also find himself guilty of some, if not all, of these charges. And his lawyer went on CNN to talk to Abby Phillip about these things, and he started talking about how the insurrection, the same insurrection we've all witnessed, we all watched, many of us live on TV while it was happening, is claiming it wasn't a violent event. And the reason I want to have praise for Abby is because of the fact that she, in the moment, immediately pushes back and does not let this narrative continue, these lies on the part of John Pierce, this lawyer. Watch this. Feel very, very strongly um, that uh, to a large extent, they went to Washington, D.C. that day to have their voices be heard. Um, uh, there was, look, the, the narrative that, with all due respect to your network, uh, sometimes has been pushed that this was a, a you know, just a, a violent event um, that there was violence it on both sides. There was violence. Violent. There was no, 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 no. There no. was violence. There, it was a violent I, event. I, I, I look. Tr it was a violent event. Police tr officers were there. Tr doing trust me, their Abby. Jobs. Tr Abby. Some of the police officers were not doing their jobs. Some of the police officers were going way beyond doing their jobs, including unjustified lethal force. Okay. So it, it is. Look, January six is listen, not as simple. John. The, a mob was attacking the Capitol. They were trying to break break into the chamber. Some of them were armed. Many of them assaulted police officers to the point of permanent long-term injury. Look, I know that you have 35 clients here that you are representing in these cases. I know that in some ways, this event, which is actually also a fundraising event, would help pay for your legal bills. But at the end of the day, he was convicted of his for his actions on that day. He is probably, you would agree, facing jail time. So the seriousness of the crime is really not in question here. And I also don't think that it is legitimate in any way to say that just because there were a couple of people milling around, that it wasn't an the objective was of that, that day. That is a that that is a, that, that is a fundamentally that, that, that is violence. that is an unfair way to carry the vast majority of individuals, it, it, you, you, have it, to, it you have to let me finish. Point, you have to let me finish. Look, the, the, the vast, vast majority, majority, the vast, I know this stuff better than you, with all due respect, I, way better. The vast majority of individuals who are on the Capitol grounds were there and they were peaceful. 
There, there, there were obviously... Uh, that does not include your client. I, I, we argued at trial that it did, well, and he was found not guilty. He was found not guilty. He was found not guilty of violence on the Capitol grounds. Not guilty. He was found guilty was in found, seven of the counts. He was, will, will he, do you think it's likely that he'll serve prison time for those counts? I do think it's likely, yes. Um, so he's been, he's been found guilty. He's facing sentencing. I, I will retract my earlier, uh, we'll see what happens. We, we know what happened. Good for her for in the moment, and he is flustered. He doesn't know how to react. He's, I know this stuff way better, way better than you. I know this stuff. Do you know the stuff that the rest of us have witnessed? John Pierce, we all witnessed live on television an attempted coup, an attempted overthrow of our government. Violence at the hands of Trump supporters who were dispatched there by Trump himself. So this entire MAGA narrative that uh, the narrative that this was a violent event, that there was, there was violence on both sides. You mean police doing their jobs, attempting to protect the lives of members of Congress and their families who were there that day, protect the lives of staff that were there that day, and protect the Capitol itself, the building, the sacred temple of our democracy, many call it. What do you think it takes in someone to turn to the dark side, to be a lawyer who, look, we are constitutionally guaranteed uh, a right to a vigorous defense. So every defendant needs a lawyer, even the worst of the worst. But what is it inside of someone like a John Pierce to just lie, to just charge the American public with uh, denouncing what they've seen with their own eyes to make a claim that it wasn't a violent event. And, but if it was, it was violence on both sides. You had people who were there unauthorized and you had people, cops there, authorized, paid to be there to protect the Capitol. They didn't do anything wrong. John Pierce, and you're maligning them is not only disgraceful, it verges on defamation, something you probably know a little bit about being a, a lawyer. Gross, but good job in this instance for CNN and specifically Abby Phillip. Very good. Uh, what do you think? I'd love to know. You can call. Leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, absolutely, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If you want to help support my work, if you've already subscribed and you want to do more, you can click the join button, become a channel member. You can click the super thanks button. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. And after all of that, if you still want to help me out, follow me on social media. I'm on uh, Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and threads and all the, uh, uh, it's so much. It's too much <laughs> at dollamore on all those things. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, have a great weekend. Be genuine. Take care of one another.